This video is sponsored by Ubisoft. Or Ubisoft. I, I say it different every time. Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Some of you might know, I did a video with Ubisoft where I got to play the game formerly known as Gods and Monsters, now known as Immortals Phoenix Rising, and I had a ton of fun with the game because, and this is the only time I'm gonna say this, it plays and is very similar to another game that I really, 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 really like. <laughs> when Ubisoft asked me if I wanted to to do another video months before the game even releases, I said yes. And then when they told me that we were gonna record it at 8 a.m. in the morning, I said, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very tired. This time, I get to start a new game. We'll be finally this time customizing my own hero, earning skills and godlike powers, and what I'm most excited for is finally exploring the entire map. Seven distinct regions that I can explore in any order, like any hat. Honestly though, I'm just most excited to get to the green lush area I haven't explored yet, and I'm definitely doing that today. And if you want to do it today as well, I got good news for you. You can click my link below and play an Immortal Phoenix Rising demo only on Stadia. It's free. Only available until the 29th of this month. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but you don't want to hear me blab about it. You want to see me play the game. So today we're going to be diving into this world filled with Greek mythology narrated by Zeus and Prometheus. Hi! I wonder if I could make me. I wonder how close to me I could make. Let's see. I mean, that's kind of me-ish. Like Apollo's chest hair. I like that he's narrated Rating me as I'm changing my hair. <laughs> Eyebrows. Imagine telling a story and you get to describing the character and all you say is eyebrows. Yeah, that's me. Did it. I assume that the character of Phoenix was like a godlike being the whole time. I mean, it flies. But apparently, I am now discovering you play as a nobody, a washed up, lowly sword bearer. Look at this weakling. I guess that's what they mean by Phoenix Rising. That, I like that. I, that is, that looks like not me. Well, I don't know. I go back and forth. I guess in the sense of everyone with a beard and long hair looks like me, I guess it looks like me. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. You do. You can do this. If I can get up at 8 a.m. in the morning to play your game, you can be calm and you can do this. I believe in you. Oh, and he's a freaking natural floating in the air, mind you. <laughs> Throwing the sword around and catching it mid-swing. If you didn't watch the last one of these videos I did, go watch it, you dumb bum. But the gameplay was one of my favorite part of part of the game. One of my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, it's too early. Yeah, this is my favorite part. The gameplay, I love the game. It's like a, it's, it feels very hack and slashy. And hack and slashy is my favorite kind of gameplay. It's just very smooth, very fluid, very fun. Parry. Okay, I got this. Hey, easy. Come on, hit me. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Hit me. Hey, babe! The thing I'm really excited about this time playing, other than the fact that I'm starting a new character that actually feels like I'm playing as my character, oh, sorry, gassy, is that on the first demo, they had like a little section I could play in. In this one, I can go anywhere immediately, and I'm excited to see other areas, especially like the green lush areas I didn't get to go to last time. <laughs> Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Zeus. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Fun, Zeus. Torture innovator, Zeus. That's pretty good. I got a lol out of that. <laughs> oh, what? It's not over? Oh, it's so gross. Oh! Oh! It was big. See ya. I still love the way that they blast off like Team Rocket. Can I sneak up? Can I sneak up? Can I sneak up? I can! I can sneak up! Oh, I got them both! Oh, I missed. Didn't miss that one. That parry is really good if you can time it right. Which apparently I can about half the time. Mm. 
You know, I thought in that last playthrough I did, I was so cool and so good at the game because I took down one of these guys that I found. And I'm now realizing that you beat one within the first hour of the game. So I guess I just suck. I swear the one I took down was harder though. This guy's nothing. And I, I think this guy's smaller as well. He's definitely smaller. Editor, yes. was he bigger last time? If he wasn't, make him look bigger. <laughs> I think he was though. Yes. Yes! Oh! This is the moment I've been waiting for! Oh my gosh. Finally. I have to pee so freaking bad, though. <laughs> Between everything I've played today, like an hour and a half so far, and then the last demo where I got to run around the game for hours, it was all set up there in this full-looking area, which is great, but I really wanted to dive into these more lush areas below that plateau area. Finally, this, this, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Initially, when the game was like marketed and all of that, it was very lush, very green, and that's what I love exploring. And there's new things, figs. What do figs do? I don't know, but I'm gonna pick them all. Oh, this is really pretty. This is really pretty. I'm playing a work in progress build and I am streaming it from Ubisoft servers. So uh, I know once I get this on Xbox Series X or wherever it is, I end up picking it up on Switch too. It'll end up looking even better still, but this looks really good. Oh, there's deer. Can I ride the deer? How do I make it like me? Like me. I'm nice. <laughs> Okay, well, if one sees me, they all see me. Yay, I can ride a horsey. I kind of just want to explore. We'll go to this Hall of the Gods because it seems like it's kind of... <gasps> There's a bear. Here's my question, Ubisoft. I asked you to let me pet the bears. There's still time. Allow me to feed the bears. Can I pet the bears? You didn't let me pet the bear and now the bear is trying to kill me, Ubisoft. That's the opposite of what I wanted. You're not nice. Not nice. I wanted to pet you and you got angry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? 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 Wait. What? <laughs> Where did you come from? Why? Did you chase me? Oh no. Oh no. I have no stamina. Run! Run! I just wanted to be friends. I wanted to pet. Oh, that was terrifying. I didn't want to die to bears. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I guess the final boss battle is that mountain thing. And I guess I could go there right now. I'm not going to. <laughs> and then the giant statues around the place, like that one and that one. Those are the gods that fell and you need to go and get their help to beat the bad guy. What I actually wanna do is go around and look for things to upgrade myself, but because this isn't my save file, I don't wanna go around and the completionists collect too much stuff for nothing. Oh, and I just, I want to so bad. I wanna go see what that whirlwind is. I wanna do that stuff. I wanna go around collecting things. But I guess since it's not my save, I'll just go over to this god and see what this part of the story is all about. I'm gonna sink so much time into this on Switch. Just messing around, I can already tell. Cutting down trees up late at night in bed. I get irrationally excited to play Switch games in bed. Those games that are just perfect where you don't have to have them on the TV all the time. You don't have to be paying full attention. Mindlessly go around collecting Zeus lightning bolts or getting upgrades or whatever. And then when you want to progress in the story the next day, that's when you plug it into the TV. What is her? I said I wouldn't do this, but I'm immediately distracted by this lady. I want to see what she's doing. I don't know if I have enough stamina to get up here, actually. No, I don't have enough stamina to do this yet. Maybe I can get onto this knee. Let me onto the knee. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I definitely need more stamina. Oh, there's a freaking thing there. Mmm, I want this so bad, but I know that I don't have enough stamina for it. All right, whatever. I'm gonna have to come back. I swear I'm going to go there in a second, but now I need to know what's in here. What a, what a, what a beautiful ruined city. What a beautifully ruined town. Now I want to go there. All right, no, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta keep making my way over here. Okay, but first, what's over here? It was at this moment he knew.
he fucked up. I found this lieutenant guy, and it was really strong. It annoyed me, but I was like, okay, there's no way I can beat it. Uh, and then the lady that's helping me on Discord, she was like, you know, I could just level you all the way to max really quick if you wanted to. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get my revenge. So she gave me all the resources I need to go back to that home base and level up everything. And now we're going to go back to Lieutenant Taylor Swift over be here. Round two. Fight. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be easy now. This is gonna be. Ah, oh, look at all the damage I'm doing. I got, I got hacks on now. I can slow down time. What can't I do? Oh, easy. Time for my big hammer move. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dirty cheat. Look at all the extra health I have. Look at everything I have now. Oh my gosh, this is it's not even a challenge. It's not even rewarding, actually. I feel bad about it. <laughs> it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Come on. I want to finish it with the giant swing. Here we go. See you later. Oh god. So apparently there's a ton of those lieutenants around and they're actually really hard. I just made it look easy because I cheated. Okay, this is pretty cool. I really wish I could keep playing. I do have to stop at some point though because, well, for one, Ubisoft is, is going to shut down the servers and not let me play anymore. But two, I don't want to play too much because eventually I'm going to get the game probably on Switch. Yeah, I'm going to get it on Switch. And then I have to start it again. So I don't want to get too far into it. The combat, everything is so smooth. The exploration is so fun. I wouldn't reference it again, so I'm not going to. I think you know if you like this kind of game, and I definitely do. So if you're excited to fight mythological beasts like Medusa, the Minotaur and Cyclops, and if you want to master godlike powers in combat, make sure to click that link down below. Again, you can check out a free demo using Stadia. You just need a Gmail account. It's completely free. Click in the link below. It does help support the channel. But of course, this game will be released on everything by the end of the year. I'm really excited for it to finally come out. Thanks again to Ubisoft for sponsoring another one of these. They liked the last one so much. They were like, you want to do another one? That's really cool. Whenever the game comes out, I look forward to doing an actual full review of the game when I've managed to spend some more time with it. Till then, I hope you had a good time. Like the video, subscribe, all of that stuff, and I'll see you in a day or two with another video. Bye-bye.